I'm gonna go up in that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's got enough to So who drives the dancing? The one is fine. If he's in the back. He looks happy. Big wave for Chris. Right, that should be fine. It certainly is, I can hear you. Jolly good. <laughs> All right, cheers. Right, have you flown in a small aeroplane before? Uh, I've flown as a passenger in a small aeroplane, yeah, twin, wi twin fixed wing monoplane. Okay, you had to go one. Pardon? Have you flown one before? No, I haven't. Do you want to have a fly this at some stage? Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Okay, what we'll do, uh, I'll obviously do the takeoff and get it up to a cruise for you. Okay. Uh, got up to us, we're for half an hour, aren't we? Yep. So if we um, poke off towards uh, Haydock Park or somewhere like that, it's quite right. nice down there. Uh, at some stage along the way, I'll start showing you how to fly the thing. We'll get your hand on the control column. OK. Uh, I'll keep flying it just for a minute or two just to make sure it's all straight for you. Right. Uh, explain how the controls work, and then if you're happy, it's all yours. What I will say is that this Tiger Moth tends to want to pitch up. OK. Right. So the name of the game is really to keep the horizon where it is when we hand over control. OK. But I guarantee it'll go up and down a bit. did the first time I flew it. Um, now we see how we get on. Brilliant. Right, let's see if we can uh, get some permission to taxi. <laughs> Well, I was raised on Biggles, so I've always wanted to fly in one of these things. Oh, excellent stuff. Oh, well, you won't mind the fact that we've got no brakes then. No, absolutely not. <laughs> no, I really wanted a, really wanted a sock with camel, but of course they're very hard to find. Well, they are, uh, but you've pretty much found the next best thing. This is really first world world technology, this thing. Yeah, absolutely. It was used in the second world world, obviously, but it is first really for technology. Right, you're ready to go, so am I. Go for Flemish, ready for departure.
Oh well, Dawn Patrol, here we go. Oh, Fulim was rolling. <laughs> 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 I think we had a nice friendly bump to get us in the air then. Fabulous. Okay, let's get you doing as much of the flying as possible. You pop your right hand on the control column. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep flying it for a minute just to show you what this thing does. So a little tiny bit of forward pressure and there goes the nose. Right. Very, very sensitive. To raise the nose, it's a little bit of rearward pressure. And up she goes. Okay. And just about there, if you can imagine where the horizon would be, that will pretty much Keep a straight and level. Right. Okay, now to keep it there, you're going to need a little bit of forward pressure. Okay, and to turn left and right, it's exactly what you would think it would be. The control column goes left and right. Okay, if you're happy with that, you have control. Yeah. And as I say, this tiger does tend to raise its nose a little bit. Now then, if you have a look just below the nose on the left hand side, you'll see there's uh, a railway line. Yeah. And we just need to keep following the railway line. Okay. Travelling what about 65 miles an hour? That's exactly it, 65 70 miles an hour, and we are in miles per hour on this machine. Uh, the airspeed in the case is calibrated that way. Normally, for aviation now, for modern aircraft, we use knots, uh, but this miles per hour. You've certainly picked up the way of flying it anyway. It's, it's absolutely fine. And I'm not sitting here with my hands on the controls. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Just keeping my hands warm inside, really. You hear horror stories about people stalling, and it's usually because they panic on the recovery. Yeah. Set the stick all the way forwards, and basically frighten the life out of themselves. <laughs> yes, hey, Doc Racecourse on the right-hand side. Yeah. What I'll do, I'll just pop us back down to a slightly lower height, 
and then you can take control again. Okay. As you can see right in the middle of Haydock Racecourse, there's a rather nice strip. Yeah. Well, to be honest, we could land virtually anywhere on Haydock Racecourse if we wanted to. It's certainly long enough. Yeah, these things don't require much space, do they? Well, no, but if you have a look at the furlong markers down there, we could touch down on one and be stopped halfway before the other one. Wow. So you need virtually no room at all. Okay, let's try a nice gentle right-hand turn. Okay. So you're going to do that, or am I? No, you're going to do that. Go on. Right, so I just move the stick to the right. That's it. Now what we're using, we're using the control column to bank the aeroplane, so you can put a little bit more bank on. Yeah. Now once it's got enough bank, you can pretty much put the control column back in the middle and it will just sit with that bank angle. Right. And it's actually the bank angle that makes it go around the corner rather than the control column. Uh-huh. That is a very, very nice turn. Normally people have me howling towards the ground by now. Ah. Nicely done. Okay, there's a large building straight ahead with white roofs. Yep. If you can aim for that for me. So just level the wings. And a little bit of forward pressure just to keep the nose down. Yep. You've done this before. This is nice. Ah. No, if I tell you that this is very unusual for somebody to fly it like this. Very, very unusual. Do you ride a motorbike or do something with your hands for a living or...? No. Uh, I, uh, I, I've had a bit of contact with horses in the past. Yeah. So it's not unlike small movements, gentle. That's exactly it. Very, you, you coax, it, it's very much like riding a horse. You coax the horse into doing what you want it to do. Yeah. You won't force a horse to do something it doesn't want to do. And it's exactly the same with a tiger. No pun intended, you know, it's an aeroplane. Um, you basically put the aircraft in a position where it wants to do something rather than sort of dragging the thing round and, and sort of driving it everywhere. Yeah. And it's, uh, it, it, it's exactly what you're doing, it's very, very gentle, it's nice. It's the primary mistake people make when they first fly aircraft, is they treat it like a car. I mean, your hands are virtually always moving with a car. Yeah. Uh, and in an aeroplane, it, it really doesn't need to be so. Once it's relatively well trimmed, it will just sit there. Okay. Yeah, just saying, is this uh, a birthday present or a Christmas yeah, present? Yeah, it's or? a birthday trip. Yeah. Yeah, so 48 years old. Really? Okay, uh, we can take a turn around the lake if you like. Off okay. to the right and we'll go all the way around. Yeah. So again, just gently back. Uh, yeah, gently to the right, yeah. And once you've got the bank angle you want, the control column goes back to the centre. Right. Well, pretty much in the centre. You've absolutely nailed your height bang on all the way through this, by the way. That is very, very unusual for someone flying a Tiger Moth for the first time. Uh, I don't speak too soon. We could oh, be sure. getting our feet wet. Yes. Oh, I don't say that. I'm sure it'll all go wobbly at some stage. It did the first time I flew it. But this is going very, very well. we can do if you can stay in this turn for me keep on turning yeah and we'll do a 180 degree turn from here and we'll go back the other way and that'll take us towards Barton okay pretty much well it'll take us towards our friendly railway line and that'll take us towards Barton okay now if you look up to the uh, pretty much 45 degrees to the right you can see there's a long line of trees uh, running from left to right yeah okay if you can aim for the middle of those they okay. pretty much run along the edge of our railway. Right. That's it, that's lovely. Well, I can honestly say that's the longest length of time anyone's flown the Tiger Moth for on a trial flight. Really? Yeah, people either get fed up, they do very badly, or they just don't want to do it anymore, or I have to take control. It's very rare someone flies it that well for that long, and that's the truth. That's nice, though. Nice to have like that. It's not even a little bit frightening for me, which is saying something.
tell you what, your navigation's good as well. Most people normally forget to follow the railway line. <laughs> okay, sir, if you'd just like to relax now, I have control. Yep. Okay. You've got it. I've got it. It's just as we get nearer to Barton in case it's only coming the other way or something. Yeah, of course. And that's Barton just to the right of the nose now. To the right? Yeah, got it. I'm sure if you were reading the Biggles books, you know all about side slipping. Yeah. So we're going to come round here, a little bit high, safer to do so, and we'll side slip in. Okay, let's lose a little bit of height, and there's side slipping. Okay. Not down yet though. Well, that room is a bit bumpy. Hopefully, we're vacating right to the visitor centre. Well, thank you very much for a fabulous experience. Well, I enjoyed that. Because it's nice when someone doesn't frighten the life out of me. <laughs> was very very nicely flown and seriously that is the longest somebody's flown it that I know of it anyway. Certainly the longest that I've done. Fabulous. Thank <laughs> you. 